Cinematic superpowers, ultra smooth, sharp and steady? In today's video, we're gonna find out. Hey, it's Jens. Right after Topaz has released Video AI 5, I've bought it. So no one paid me to promote or show what this software is actually doing. As the results are really remarkable for most of the shots, this really helps me to increase the quality of my videos. And this might also be an interesting solution for you. I've prepared a ton of sample shots to show you how it's performing on high and low quality video shots. Therefore, we're going to take a closer look on all the new features and settings which include upscaling, slow motion, denoise, sharpening and several different boost video quality computation models. Okay, let's start with this mushroom time-lapse I shot a couple months ago. The lighting situation was not ideal because the background was not dark enough. I did some adjustments in post, but those led to new problems. In the final video, ugly, noisy flickering appeared at the edges. This becomes even more visible when we crop in a little. To fix this, I've just activated the option Enhancement with AI model Pro Toys and the flickering was gone. And here's the final before and after shot. I've only activated Enhancement and therefore the result is really good. Now let's take a closer look on this noise-free ISO 100 macro art shot. I really like it and actually does not much I would change. But as I use cropping a lot to add new perspectives and angles and movement to my videos, the 1080p crop still looks okay, but not great. Here, the improvement just using AI was really crazy. The software somehow adjusted the areas that were out of focus, added sharpness and details without adding any artifacts. I'm really thinking of editing and re-uploading my old macro art videos again, as those just look so much better after letting the software improve them. And now it's time to push the software to its limits. A couple years ago I photographed and filmed hummingbirds in Ecuador. The images turned out really good, some were cleaned up using Tobas Photo AI. But is this also possible with video footage? The shot was filmed at 100 frames per second and cropped to 720p. It is full of noise and normally I would delete this kind of footage. But actually I'm really happy that I kept it, because it's the perfect example to check what is happening when you combine quality improvement, upscaling and slow motion on a low quality video shot. As contrast, I've tested it again on a high quality 4K ISO 100 video showing the eye of a snail. When cropping to 1080p, but after using black magic, the footage is cleaned up and it just looks fantastic. As a new example, we take a closer look on how to improve old GoPro footage. This time I'm using an underwater shot of a turtle that I discovered in Curaçao. So when you plan to go to Curaçao, you need to visit Playa Lagoon because that is the turtle spot. The image looks pretty soft, so I activated Pro Toys again, added a lot of sharpening to the footage. And when we take a closer look, the result is a lot better. There are no artifacts as we were used from the older sharpening AI photo packages. It is like exporting every frame of our video editing it with photo AI, convert it back to video and then add a slow motion effect for smooth playback. But what about the slow motion feature? In their commercial shot, they slowed the footage down by 16 times. As I've bought a $100,000 high-speed camera in the past, this is a very interesting feature, but only if there are no wobbling and artifacts visible. I guess this only works when the original movement is pretty slow. I tested it on a couple shots and here are the results. At 4 times slow motion, the results are incredible. I cannot see any warpage, wobbling or artifacts as I'm used of Adobe Premiere when slowing on footage, for example. Even the explosion looks really legit. Okay, that's really awesome, but now let's try the 16x slow motion feature. In the beginning of the video it works absolutely fantastic, but only because there's not much movement between each frame. When the tongue is shooting out, there's too much going on between each frame and there's motion blur and the resulting video is just full of wobbling. It works great at 4x, 
when there is a lot of movement and even at 16x when the original footage is not changing too much between each frame. What I also really like is that each feature offers several different AI models. The slow motion feature for example can be used with five different algorithms which are specialized for slow or fast frame movements or rendering speed. So here is another comparison between the two models which shall be capable of fast movement. But as there is just too much motion blur in the original video footage it's not possible to get a perfect result. After using it for a couple of weeks now I'm really satisfied with the result and there's really nothing I could complain about. Please let me know what you think about the software. I think it is a great way to save some money on gear as you can prove the quality and frame rates imposed. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you in my next video. Cheers!